everyone it's Donna here and I just wanted to come on real quick and show you the latest album that I just finished um, it is a Christmas uh, journal uh, it measures five inches by seven inches it is a single signature and the cover is made from uh, my typical collaged vintage um, linens and laces <coughs> It is, um, it has 60 pages front and back, and I'm calling this one Christmas Morning because of the picture on that I chose to put on the front. It's just held together with a strip of um, cotton Christmas fabric that is loose. And the picture on the front, I love this picture. I knew I wanted to put it on the front of this, this journal of two little girls on Christmas morning getting up peeking into the parlor to see what Santa Claus brought for them um, there's just a little bit of collage with vintage laces in the in the top corner and the bottom corner and some um, tatting and a little embellishment here with holly and the berries this I think used to be an earring in its previous life and then the cover is just my typical vintage pretties all over it, collaged. Um, peeking out of the bottom on the, the strings for the, the center of the signature are a little snowman and a um, Christmas stocking charm. And there's lots of laces peeking out all over. So let's take a peek inside. There is the inside is just a, a muslin, a plain muslin fabric, and <clears throat> a pocket made out of um, Christmas ribbon with pretty gold, maroon and gold, and then Santa. This is scrapbooking paper. I think it's K and Company. It's an older line, probably. Five, at least five years ago I've been slowly whittling away at it um, one of my tune decks cards and this one is Santa Baby and the copyright is 1953 and I put a fussy cut Santa on there and this is a tuck spot you can tuck something in behind there um, just some grid paper with vintage lace Lots of place for journaling in, in this book. Um, a envelope pocket here with some collage on the front and a snippet up here. And inside of the envelope is a vintage Christmas card from probably the 40s or 50s. And you can open it up and journal inside of there. And then a... Um, postcard uh, actually this is a new year happy new year postcard it's not um, it's not used so you can journal on the back of that but it's probably from the early 1900s and then just on the back I drew in some lines for journaling this is a Christmas postcard image that was printed on tracing paper that I adhered to this dictionary page. Uh, blank on the back. Here's a fabric flip with a part of a doily, some net lace, some Christmas fabric, and a stick pin with some Christmas bells. Um, this is removable, so you can take that off and put it somewhere else if you want. And then you can journal underneath. Uh, pocket here with some vintage or possibly antique lace at the bottom there and a collage journaling card with some lace snippet up here and you can journal on the back and Christmas fabric some ledger page just a um, stationary book page just a piece that came off of a Christmas card place for journaling this is a vellum 
vellum pocket with a tall skinny tag in it that I've collaged. And then that opens up for more journaling there. Uh, some scrapbooking paper with more vintage lace on there. Did some stenciling on the back of that. Some coffee dyed paper. This is a pocket, or this side of it is a tuck spot. The other side is a is a pocket from a vintage collar. And inside of it is a journaling, couple of journaling cards and tag. This is a Ladies Home Journal from Christmas 1897. That's the cover of Ladies Home Journal. Um, these home journal images, there's another one further on in the journal, came from um, archive.org. If you've never been to that site, oh my gosh, you, you can spend hours and hours there looking through archived antique books and pulling images from it. I, I have spent days on that website. This is a um, original journal page from 1960, oops, 1967. Um, on this side, this is half of a... Um, an envelope it's wrapped around to the other side and I just here adhered it down and there's a little envelope in here that I made and I'll let the recipient of this explore what's in there a lot of little little tiny decorations Christmas decorations that you can use um, to decorate further decorate this journal and then behind it is a tuck spot with a collaged card and this is on a um, page from a vintage Sears and Roebuck catalog. There's the rest of it. This is part of a um, Christmas greeting card. I just stenciled on the back. Place for writing. Vintage lace there. Um, this is a page from a Christmas Carol book. And it is the center of the signature. And this is the image from um, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. And I put stickles on, I don't know if you can see if it's going to pick that up, but I put stickles on the snowflakes all the way around. Um, here's the fortune cookie that's in this journal. For those of you who are new to my channel, I always put a little, um, it's a little envelope that folds open and inside of it is a fortune. Uh, it's a one of my images from that CD of Christmas postcards and that flips open and there's a little tuck spot here and behind it is another little journaling card and this is two little girls looking up the chimney looking for Santa Claus seeing if he's coming down the chimney. I love that image. Uh, on the back side is a pocket with another collaged card on it or in it. Here's the other page of that Sears catalog. This is the other side of that envelope and in it is a little a little journal card with an image from that Christmas CD. There's the back side of the journal. This side of it is blank so you can actually um, ledger you, so you can actually journal on it. Here's the other half of that collar. I put a little gem on there and another journaling card with a little lace collage up there. See um, back side of that scrapbooking paper with some vintage lace there and some ribbon. Place for journaling. Uh, this is another image from that um, CD, a Christmas post postcard, and I put stickles on the holly berries so they're shiny. And that just flips open for more journaling, and this is actually a pocket. You can tuck something in there. Places for journaling. There's that pocket. Here's another one of the Ladies Home Journal covers. This one's from 1898. You can journal on the back of that. Uh, this just flips open for more journaling. That's a, a pretty winter scene and a little envelope says special delivery. 
Here is a envelope that I made and inside of it, I'm not going to take it all out, there are some um, whale tail tabs and some other Christmas images that the recipient can explore. And behind it is a tuck spot with another one of those images. Um, fussy cut Christmas bell and again the the holly berries are, are stickled so they're shiny and that just flips open. You've got more space for journaling under there. And that was the the other side of that envelope and this, this side has the window in it and you can see the children. There's a another journaling card in there with the children around the tree and they, they just show They just show through the, the window. More vintage lace. Um, this is just a, a tuck spot here. You can tuck something in under there. And on the back is a pocket covered with lace. And in it is a journaling card. And then in the very back is just some extra paper for either journaling or covering up um, pages that, that have text on them. And then my handmade by label. So there she is, Christmas morning. Um, I don't think I'm going to be making any more Christmas journals. I'm, I'm Christmased out. I'm already starting on another journal. So that's all I have for today. Uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.